Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Frosty. There has been so many Destiny 2 PvP metas, so what I'm doing is putting them all on a wheel. You guys wanted this to be a series, so that is exactly what I'm giving you. Every match, I'm going to change metas with the ultimate goal of going flawless. I have things like Lemonarch Threlings on here, Cerberus Stasis Titan, Molotin Top Recluse. It's going to get wild, and later, you're going to see me use the most iconic Destiny 2 meta that a lot of people love and hate. All right, so it's time for part two, the Wheel of Metas. We have already done seven. We still have so many more metas to try out. Let's see what we get for game one. Oh no, not the Saiten's Rampart. The shoot through shield. Oh, that metal was tragic. All right, guys, I got the loadout ready. We're gonna parry with no time to explain. Let's shoot through some shields. It's about to be tragic. Yeah, I didn't want to mess around with that, uh... I didn't want to mess around with that shield too much. Damn, what the? Nice. You gotta help, bro. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, Papu, what the fuck was that, homeboy? I gave you my life just for this? Good stuff, good stuff. If you guys want, we got the zone, but you guys were cooking a little bit. Sightons, you used to not be able to break the shield in just a couple shots. That thing was chonker, bro. And the cooldown was so fast too. Alright, we got a barricade for the next round. I remember still how traumatized I was doing the Zero to Ascendant run with ZK and Walla. There's a comp video I uploaded. Dude, every game was just shoot through shields, shoot through shields, and Revoker. Because Revoker would break it in one shot, but also retain the special ammo. Yeah, bro, it was crazy. Oh, I didn't even know they got a kill. That's tragic. Pop will go enough in the distance. You gotta watch out, homie. You gotta watch out. They can just fly at you at any given moment. That's a very nice pick. I just don't know if we could do anything about it. <laughs> yeah, you better run away. Honestly, all this does is just show how good no time to explain is. <laughs> I'm supposed to show off the shields, but like, oh, I'm not getting any engagements to use it. Alright, 2v1. Y'all win these. Come on, let's go. 
Good stuff, guys. <laughs> Good stuff. Next match, let's see what we got. The next meta will be... No, don't make me do it. Oh, please. Oh, wait, that's also really bad. <laughs> Lord of Wolves on the Oculus? Jesus. All right, here we are. We're about to check out the Lord of Wolves. There's a couple clips, apparently, of me doing toxic stuff with it. How busted was it? Oh, I don't know. Right now. Oh. Crouching. Why am I smiling like that right now? All right, going for the map flank right now. It's one. Oh, dude, it was dark it's times amazing. fighting Lord of Wolves in trials. The buzzard ritual weapon, you have to go to PVE and do strikes, man. It doesn't work in Crucible. Oh, my Look God. The master flank right here. Dude, what in the world? Oh, rip. Okay. Got slayed out. So, Frostbolt, it has come to my attention that you have been using... Wait, Lord this is Wolves my video? Crucible. Tell me, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, I'm cringing. Crutch user? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to use my oh, primary no. and people weren't using it, so I got really oh. tired of it and I just I just make it stop What? Oh my god! Did you see the range? Uh, Bro, sure. I mapped them. You know how long I've been waiting for this? Woo, I'm about to make a name for myself here. Yeah. You better fucking run to the back of the map. That's right. Your bitch ass better be at the edge. Oh my God. Come on. Massive play. I'm going for the green, bro. And I'm rushing this guy. Bro. <laughs> this looks so shit compared to the clips, man. <laughs> Back then, I would just shoot it and it would just get deleted from across the map. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. Big kill, big kill. Bro, this load of wolves is not it. The recoil is insane. You used to be able to release the wolves too, and it would just like fire full auto and you have so much ammo, right? Dude, this is this is mid. Wait, I can still release the wolves? Okay. I don't get nearly as much ammo as I need to make a play with this. The wolves have been released. Someone call animal control because there's a beast on the loose. Leave me alone! Ooh. Ah. Shit, though, man. This gun is actually so shit, bro. <laughs> this just It just has that aura, I guess. Lord of Wolves just has the aura. I can't believe it. <laughs> I literally cannot believe these guys are playing so scared. I can't even get a kill with this. <laughs> Damn it. Uno mas. Can I get the Lord of Wolves kill? Nope. 
All right. Well, that was horrible. That was so bad. Like, I hated this gun. This thing is so trash, bro. I just, I hated that. It was funny, but dude, that's so awful. I don't think I could get wins with that shit at all. Lord of Wolves down. Hopefully we never get to use that again. That was terrible, bro. Next. Dude, I've actually never done this, but it was horrible. I hated Speaker's Helm. I don't have any gameplay with Speaker's Helm on my channel, so we're just gonna go for it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so here it is, the Speaker's Helm, Speaker Sight with Red Death. I've never done this build. I don't think I've ever used this helmet either, but it was so freaking broken in Crucible. Like and right now, it's still really good, so let's play it. I can't believe I'm wearing this. Yeah, come get the healing, guys. Holy, the turret goes so fast. What's my discipline at right now? Six? Got another shotgun kill? Oh, wow. The red death is so good, bro. You hit someone a little bit and they're dead. Oh, someone rage quit. That's tragic. Oh my goodness. I feel like everyone is so scared right now. Like last game we had that one hunter like on the edge jumping off the map. Well, I don't know if we even get uh, a way to like show off these heals, man. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm just healing it, dude. Oh my god, I'm just healing through it all. <laughs> oh, dude. This poor shoulder charge didn't do shit, man. Nice way in. All right, that was a quick one, but... Hey, now there's a there's video evidence of me playing with Red Death and Speaker Sight at the same time. I almost went my entire Destiny to history without using it, but here we are. So Speaker Sight down. Let's see what else we get. There's so many metas, man. Ooh, yeah, Phil Winter's line. Let's go. All right, so here we are. We're bringing out the Phil Winter special. Man, it used to have Quick Draw as a perk. So you would swap really fast, but they made high impacts, I guess, illegal to run quick draw anymore because it was just too OP. A shotgun with low handling swapping so fast. So instead it gave it surplus. But we're gonna try it out. It should still be pretty good, especially with opening shot. The good old Phil Winner's line, man. With all my abilities, it's actually pretty fast too. All right, I tried to distract them as much as I could, and it worked. Beautiful, let's go. I never liked Surplus, though. I hated how different it felt when I didn't have abilities on. I can't go anywhere. Huh? I'm stuck right now. What the fuck? I didn't know there was someone behind me, bro. <laughs> Dude, the ice. I was so confused. Like, what's what's damaging me? Too much damage to me, man. I had to rotate out. The smoke grenade was wild. I got more Fell Winter's ammo. Boom. 
no matter what, a shotgun with opening shot will always be pretty decent. This is an easy one to just use if you never want to grind for anything. I don't even know how you even get for winners now. Is it even free? Throws me back to the times of where high impact shotguns were like the best. Found verdict, fell winners, mindbenders ambition. Really good weapons. Nice. Nice, good one, guys. No full winner's action down. Nice to revisit that shotgun. Much better options now, but definitely the shotgun when it first came out with quick draw. Ugh, it was too good. All right, let's see what's the uh, next meta that we use. There's still so many options. It's crazy all the metas we've gone through playing Destiny 2. <gasps> oh, we've done this one before and it's a crazy one. The Lorley Splendor Helm Arianas. So the Lorley and Arianas. Lorley used to be so insane with the sunspots giving you like restoration times two and restoration times two back then was also unnerfed. You would heal so much and they were just insane because you would get a damage bonus as well. So we're gonna I see if we get some gameplay. Like I just got weak and I get my shields back instantly. Look at the amount of health region that I have. I got the Sun Warrior damage buff. All stemming from wall. one sunspot. And then we're gonna take a look at Ariana's. Um, I believe Ariana's also has been nerfed throughout time. Um, it's Whoa. pretty decent, but it's Yo, not going on packing as much damage as you used to. So this should give you a nice little idea of how good Ariana's can be with a damage buff and why Lorley's Ariana's was a meta for a little bit. Cause you just get some crazy one taps. You turn a corner, someone's just standing on the on a rally barricade, just healing constantly. So this is uh me just damage buffing my Ariana's, right? So let's see. Let's see if I get a damage buff in these clips right now. Okay, I'm just kind of cooking with something else right now. All right, we got the charge of light. 123 damage. Let's see. Okay, I got the charge of light. There we go. The one taps. Oof. <laughs> yeah, dude. So just imagine pairing this with, with Lorley free damage buff on demand. You just want that players. It was disgusting. It was really good. All right, so I got my Lorley Splendor Helm and my Ariana's Vow ready. What does it even do anymore? Solar super equipped to casting your barricade or becoming critically wounded with full class creates a sunspot. So I just get the sunspot benefits, which is ability cooldowns. Okay, sure. My biggest obstacle this match is gonna be trying to be on the barricade. And using the Ariana's. Oh, I fucked up. Nice. Oh, I actually got a kill with that. Cool. I'm gonna change to the rally barricade. I forgot. The sunspot still works though. Remember though, even with a sunspot, there's no way I get one taps. I don't get a damage buff anymore. Oh my god, where are you going? That's too bad. I got hit with the smoke nade. But I believe in my teammates. Let's go. That Ariana's two tab though, both headshots. Oh my, it feels so good. One thing that I miss a lot is doing the Ariana's bow swap. Some of the most fun I've ever had. Huge, those headshots hurt. Oh, I've used my sunspot on accident because I was too weak. There goes my barricade. I do get restoration. Oh my god. It makes it easy for them to know where I'm going to challenge from. I mean, I could try to go get more ammo. It's gone. 
Oh, it's there. I think my teammates are going to win the round before I even get a chance to shoot this bad boy. Oh, is this a clone? Oh, he went all the way around. I had no idea. I thought that dude was still chilling middle. Well, pretty quick game. All right, so that was the Lorley Spunderhelm and Ariana's. It's crazy how a lot of these builds that we're using are just, just nothing compared to what they used to be. Like, it's shocking. They have definitely nerfed so many things throughout Destiny 2 life cycle. It's crazy. And we still have so many more metas <laughs> that we haven't gotten to yet. Ooh, that's one that I wanted so bad. Ah, the NF Dust Rock Blues. Holy shit, what a throwback. 150 RPM, crazy range. Jesus, I can't like, that looks so unreal to look at. The speed at which it shoots. I can't even like, like imagine it. I had to see it to believe it now. Dude, what the fuck? It shoots so fast. Now it looks so like not normal. Oh my God, that was actually the NF. That's so crazy to see. Let's see the beat drop. Better be a quad. Oof. All right. Damn, bro, that gameplay looks so lit, bro. So here I am with my not forgotten Dust Rock Blues. Of course, I have to add the Warcliffe coil. I want to know how many of you people were there for this meta and had the same exact loadout. I'm not counting the subclass, but you had the Stomp piece, you had the NF, you had the Dust Rock, and even the Warcliffe coil, and you were just farming comp day in and day out. And even in quick play too, you just never took it off. Gotta watch out. They got range. A little bit of a slow start to this match, but that's okay. I'm not gonna push that actually. Our teammates absolutely cooked. Dude, I shot you, man. At least we get the round. All right, let's take this bridge control. That's one down. That was nice. Man, this takes me back. It's not as good as it used to be, but like just crazy to compare to the gameplay where it was a 150 and it three taps so fast and you can hit a body shot and it did max damage. The two hit one body on a 150 and everyone was grinding comp. Everyone loved comp. The good old Dust Rock Stompies. <laughs> the Dust Rock Stompers. Surprisingly, the Dust Rock was not my go to shoddy. It was actually a different one called Brotheration, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I get free heavy ammo now. Oh my god, who wants the Warcliffe coil? We call this the Pure Chill coil back in the days. <laughs> the pure chill coil let's go and there you have it another round for us i'm so happy you even got a a rocket launcher kill in there i feel like it got nerfed too at some point i might be wrong but Dude, i remember the war cliff was so cracked they would give like quads constantly like the rockets were so nuts they would just track everywhere you could just wipe teams with it. Nice. 
Nice. Good one, guys. The sweet, sweet, not forgotten. Sometimes I wish I can go back just to experience the 150 RPM NF days just for a little bit again, you know? I feel like Bungie should do throwback, a throwback playlist sometimes where we just put like old metas in there and we just go back in time for like a weekend or some shit. All right, let's move on. I think next game is our final match. There's still so many metas. I don't know which one it would be, but I'm excited to try it out. Hopefully it's something OP. Ooh. Oh yeah. Hey, that's that's a that's still pretty much meta right now, all right? All right, so the Amit is still very much good. Conditional has been nerfed quite a bit since its first release. When I made this montage, I was like, dude, I love this gun. And then it became really popular. I was like, okay, maybe it's too good. They need no introduction. Amit, it slates, right? It was so good for so long. Conditional has been it was so dominant. It was like always number one in trials before we got like the special ammo changes incredible oh yeah look at this shit oh my god it's still very much good and i miss playing the game like this they nerfed my strand hunter i'm so sad about it all right squad i think this is the final match so we gotta go flawless using the amit <laughs> what a gun and then we got the conditional my goodness one of my favorite exotics of all time what a fun weapon Let's go ahead and get this flawless. We're trying to chill here. Since my auto rifle can't map them. I have to wait for them to get close enough. That's one down. Get rid of that smoke grenade while we're at it. Damn, that's really good timing. That's one. Ah, oh, beat me to the shotgun blast. Nice, good stuff. Yeah, this time I decided to just have my shoddy out. <laughs> Gotta let him know his place. How am I do the same thing again? That's one. Oh, little teleportation melee. It's all good though. <laughs> that hunter is still trying to only get kills with shotties, bro. What's to play now? Look at you, look at you. Oh, let me run at him with my shotgun because that's the only thing I can do. <laughs> Oh, man. I'm ready for it now, dude. Come here. Last round. Come get the shotgun blast to the face. Come on. Fuck. <laughs> 13 damage? Where did my pellets go? All right. 3v2. I think it's Jover for them. Oh, yeah. You're done, bro. I'm frying you. And there you have it. The crispy flawless. Oh my God. Let's go. We actually did it. The meta loadouts overall for this card were pretty solid. We got some good things to use. I wasn't completely useless for my teammates for once, you know, had no trials. <coughs> All right. Well, I'm happy that was a super chill card. I like having those loadouts. It was very different. A good way to get myself to try combos that either A, I've never tried, like the Red Death Speaker Helm, or B, just revisit them and see how they're doing now. There's a couple that definitely are still just as good, I'd say. Maybe a little bit less weak. And then some that are just completely terrible compared to their former glory. But that's a GG's, man. That's a GG's.